everybody, my name is Chase Pipes, and you're watching Chasing History, brought to you by American Digger Magazine and Smoky Mountain Relic Room, and we're back! It's been a year, we're out on out in northwestern Montana with our good buddy, Eamon Yeager, out on his dig site. Eamon, thanks for having good us back Good to have you guys out. here, absolutely. We're doing a real quick episode just to show you guys the importance of collecting fossils. You know, one of the things that people don't realize is, is that fossils aren't really that terribly rare, you just gotta know where to look. And it's important for people to get out and to, and to discover this stuff and to save this stuff because the elements of time and erosion are destroying fossils. We're out here in northwestern Montana digging out fossils today and so much of the stuff that we're digging is exploded or getting destroyed just through the natural evidence of erosion. Eamon, explain what, what, are fossils rare? How important is it to collect this stuff? Dude, lay it lay the you whole know, thing out man there are some species of dinosaur that are rare but there's a lot of very common species too and you know what's the dinosaur bones aren't necessarily rare but is rare is actually the people out there actively digging for dinosaurs actively working with private ranch owners you know that's a little bit less common and there's only maybe a few hundred of us in the u.s unfortunately that's it there's just a few hundred people out privately working yep. on on private land yep collecting fossils for the public yep absolutely that's insane it, it's, it's a very small group of people that are out doing it because a lot of people just don't know yet you can do this anyone really can come out and dig for dinosaurs you just got to go through the right channels you just need to talk to private landowners keep everything on private land and it's just a lot of footwork you just got to do a lot of walking around and a lot of hunting for dinosaur bones and it's fairly easy to do, honestly. And so, and it's important for you to do because literally, this stuff is is eroding out of the hillside every day, yes. every year, and is once it's exposed, it gets destroyed. And this is a great case in point. Amy, can you explain what's going on? Yeah. Here? So in this quarry here, you can see behind us what we've done is we've removed a lot of the overburden with dirt. Now, what we do after we remove the overburden with dirt is it's in a hard rock. But that hard rock we let weather over an entire course of winter. So during the winter time it freezes, then it thaws, then it freezes, then it thaws. And it opens these cracks slowly in the rock that we then extort with pry bars and, and, uh, and different picks. And we just start to pop the rock off the fossils itself. Now, the freeze thaw is good for us because it helps us expose the bones. But what's really bad about it is it allows for roots and different grass to go into those cracks too and they actually like the bone they'll go into the bone and through it and just destroy the bone unfortunately so it's another element that's kind of working against us when it comes to rescuing these bones out of the ground and it's roots like these you know looking at the bone here i mean it's just insane how these roots are just totally gone through i mean in another year i don't think there'd be anything left no of this there bone, probably wouldn't be much you left know? you know the, the roots they, they really like the minerals in the bone itself um, the, 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 the bones do indeed mineralize, and the roots are kind of attracted to that. So it's actually kind of a way you can tell in the midst of all the badlands. You know, it, it's not very common, but sometimes, you know, you look in the badland and you see a big plant just growing out of nowhere. More than likely, that, that plant is pulling the minerals from a bone that's underneath the ground there. That's, so. that's insane. You know, another thing that you were telling me was about cows yes. and dinosaur bones. Yes. Dude, lay this, you're, <laughs> this is insane. All right. Cows and dinosaur bones, yeah. what's going on? So cows are kind of a dinosaur bones kryptonite. Not only do they <laughs> walk over the tailings and destroy the bones, but the cows also really enjoy the minerals that the bones pull in through a secondary process called silification. Um, so the bones fossilize. It's it, All the organic material has been replaced with inorganic materials. Now you have the carbon replacement of the bone, and now it's pulling all the minerals in the ground too into the bone. And kind of the, like a magnet. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sucking in all the good minerals. Yep, yeah. and the cows love those minerals. So I've left bones exposed before, and I've watched the cows come by grazing in the grass, and they just suck the bone right up and eat it. <sighs> that is insane. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so not only is, as this stuff is eroding out, the natural forces of nature is destroying these bones, but you've got cows literally eating dinosaur bones. Yes, yes we do. That is insanely <laughs> nuts, dude. All right, that's great. You know, and another thing I want to point out, so we're here in northwestern Montana. This is one of the largest concentration of grizzly bears in North America. Yeah. What do, what do we got going on our hip? Um, well, out here, uh, we do carry a pistol everywhere we go. It's for our safety. This is what's known as the Grizzly Bear Super Highway. Um, so there's bears all over the place transporting between the mountains and into the prairies here. Um, so it's really important that you think safety first. Bear spray works really well. Handguns work really well. You just always want to be prepared in case one does indeed sneak up on you. Yeah. It, it can happen. 
and you want to be as safe as possible. I can't stress that enough. You always want to be prepared. So, I mean, you've got to, I mean, this is a beautiful place to dig for one, but I mean, you know, you got to watch out. Not only do you got to watch the bears getting after you, but you got to watch the cows coming up yes, behind you, sucking the bones. up the bones. Yeah, you've got the roots. I mean, you've got all this stuff that's putting these bones in jeopardy. I mean, yeah. dude, I applaud, <laughs> applaud your efforts for getting out here and rescuing this history, you know? And that's one of the things that we're trying to get across to all of you out there is that fossils aren't rare. You can go find them. More are being destroyed by the natural forces of erosion than are being collected by far. You have the right and the ability to go discover this stuff. You just got to get out of YouTube and get out of here and go do this, you know? And when you do this, you are actually doing a service because you are rescuing and saving this history before it's getting destroyed. If you go back to one of our earlier episodes, we had a conversation with Tyree Lamp where we showed a bone that was on the surface that was completely exploded and destroyed because of the roots, you know, blowing through it. You know, in another year, this bone that we've got here would have been totally smashed, would have been yep. completely gone. So, but thanks to Chase here, he found it before that. So this is actually one of his finds, so I'm we're very happy well, about that. Well, no, no, no. Thank <laughs> you for letting us out here onto your site, for letting us bring these guys out onto your site. Dude, we appreciate it, man. Eamon, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Appreciate, we appreciate it, Chase. It. Absolutely. And thank you guys out there for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. Check us out on Facebook at Chasing History. Follow us on Instagram, hashtag Chasing History. Uh, follow us on Facebook. We've got a podcast, Chasing History Radio. You can dude, wherever it's Chasing History, man, we are on it, except for Twitter. We'll never be on Twitter. There's something about Twitter that just ain't smoking right. I don't do Twitter, so it stops at Twitter. Eamon, dude, thanks, man. Thank you, Remember, Chase. guys, history rocks. Woohoo!